Hey everyone, this is Tom here from the Blue Root team. Here to show you how you can make an email template in your Zoho CRM. So this here, what I have on the screen is just a new Zoho CRM account. Um, maybe this looks familiar, maybe not, but this is the screen you get when you start a new instance of Zoho CRM. That's not so much important because we're not gonna be spending a lot of time here. Instead, whether it's brand new or you've been using it for five years, to make a new template you're going to click this area here and so that's where we're going to go and so you can click here and you can see that this is the settings area so maybe some of you are familiar with it maybe not but this is the settings here and where you really want to go is this templates area so under customization we're going to hit templates and so what comes up is basically three things email inventory mail merge we're of course going to be using the email one but just to show you that there's a couple different types of templates so starting with email, I'm going to very simply just hit create new template. And so this is the only part that requires a bit of thinking to say, okay, where am I going to be sending these templates from? If it's related to your leads, you're going to select the leads. If it's related to your contacts, you'll send it from there. And if it's deal specific email, so maybe an email you send once you close a deal, you're going to do it from your deals module. So for us, this, let's keep it simple. Maybe it's um, a contact email. Why don't we make it? something like a happy birthday email. So this is going to come up and there's going to be some templates available to you. So you can do the blank one, one column, two column. You can say here the happy birthday ones. If I wanted to use it, I could very simply use one of these. You can see that there's some other ones available to you as well. I'm not going to use it just so I can kind of walk you through how to actually create a template. Quick note, if you don't want it to look like a template, Use this here, and this is basically just plain text it's as if you're writing a brand new email. All the ones below will have kind of that gray on the side. So most people know that it's a template. Um, so it's just your preference. But let's select this one for now. So when you come out of here, there might be some um, things here that tell you kind of how to navigate it, but I'm gonna show you quick. So a couple things that I always say right away is first of all, name it something important. So I'm going to call it something that's going to make you remember what this template is. So I'm going to call it happy birthday email for client. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say happy birthday. This is the subject line of the email. And I might want to do the first name of the person. So all I get to have to do is put in this little hashtag sign and start typing the field that I want. So I'm gonna say hashtag and then first name. And you can see that it's dynamically changing here. I could do user first name, so that'd be like my first name, um, or contact first name, and I'm gonna do that. So happy birthday, and then it would automatically pop in this email. So you can see how these templates start being powerful when you can start popping in different things. So now I'll get into the email itself. So what's automatically there for you is gonna be a text field. So within this text, field you can do whatever you need to do just like before I can add do this hashtag sign start typing my field and I get these dynamic fields in the text the important thing is looking across here I'm not going to go through every one of these but this is um, what we call like a WYSIWYG editor basically allows you to do the different things that you might want to do in a normal email body so hope all is well so you know I can use this to basically say hey I want to bold or I want to italicize it it's all available here um, this here would be to create a link. Here's to add an image. So it's all kind of available to you using this taskbar here. So this is one that's going to be useful. You can change the size, whatever it is, your normal email editor. That's what you can do here. But to, to add some things here is you can add new components. So this is just a standard text, but maybe I want to add an image and I don't want an inline image, which is what this would be, but a standalone image. So I click here. And I can just simply click and drag. Maybe I want three images back to back to back. I click and drag and just like that, I can have this in my email and then I can pop in and say, okay, which actual pictures do I want to appear here? And I can upload it right from my computer right there. So that's a very useful component. Another one here is spacer. So just kind of a formatting thing is I could pop this in. It gives me a little bit of space and I can also make this as small or as big as I want just by clicking and dragging this. <coughs> Another one that's useful is this button here. So if I wanted to say, okay, I want to add a text or a link, but I want to make it very pronounced, I might want to use a button. So I can click the button and I can once again, click and drag this in. I name the button, I say button one, no, and 
there, button one, and I put in the URL. Whatever it has to be. And just like that, you have your button in here. You might want to format your button a little bit. We can definitely do that. And all we'd have to do is go up here and say, okay, actually I want it to be red. I want my text to be a lot bigger. I want it to be bold. And I also want my text to be white. And so you can see very quickly, you can customize that button and it's a nice thing to add to the link. The only other things to touch on would be if you want to add a background, you can have a, a color that you could add to your background. Um, the inner color is what's here, the outer color is what's out here, and then a table if that's something you're interested in. And then once you feel that you have it in a good spot, you can just hit save. It'll say, okay, templates right. You can select your folder. Maybe you want to create a new folder. I'll just put it in public email templates and hit save. And there you go. And now it's available to you. And now you can send it out in two places, right? You could choose to send it out in a workflow, which we'll cover in a different video or you could send it out directly from the contact area just by choosing that template. So I hope this was helpful in learning how to actually create those email templates. As always, please provide recommendations in the comments on what you'd like to see next. We're happy to help. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.